My name is James Alexander Kerr, Jr. And I'd like to talk to you today about encouragement. Probably one of the greatest verses in the Old Testament is Hosea 4, 6, where God tells the prophet, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. <coughs> we all need encouragement if we're a human being. There are going to be hills and valleys in everybody's life. Whenever I'm getting down, I usually go to the Word of God. And it, if you meditate on it, it'll encourage you. Most any verse can do that to you. Because God's got a way of instructing you when you need it. So the first thing you want to do if you're discouraged or you need some help, got a bad word or somebody's put you down or you're in a bad position, is to ask the Lord to let you be in his presence. That's real easy. If you're a follower of him, you just say, Abba, Father. <coughs> That's a kind of an interesting way of saying Heavenly Daddy. And he'll encourage you. One of the strongest things that I've found is to just picture yourself in Psalms 23. What God can do. Everything in there. And just meditate on that word. Even though it's a sheep and he's a shepherd, he'll fix you up. He'll encourage you. He'll pick you up one more time than you get knocked down. There's a presentation of a guy who made a painting where it was two sets of footprints in the sand. And as you go along, there only become one set of footprints. And I can remember when I first saw that. Well, what happened? And the viewpoint from man was, you left me. God, you just deserted me. <clears throat> and God finally said, look, why don't you sit down and shut up and let me tell you what happened. I carried you during those times. And if you look back, those were the valleys that you needed encouragement. And I came and encouraged you and I had to carry you sometimes. That's a terrific picture of God.